As an history enthusiast, of course you heard about the Punic Wars between Rome and Carthage. Everyone has a general idea of what happened indeed. But you might ask why they simply didn't go straight to each other's mainland and fought almost proxy wars. You might wonder why Carthage expanded to the Iberian Peninsula. What was the benefit of doing so? Well, wonder no more. Today, you will learn why it was seemed as necessary for Carthage to do it. It's the end of the First Punic War. Carthage has lost their domains in Sicily, Sardinia, and Corsica to the growing Roman Republic. As a result of loosing the war, Carthage dives into a serious economical crisis, loosing their trade empire in the Mediterranean Sea, and with the heavy war reparations paid to Rome, it seems as if Carthage is about to collapse. The Carthaginian army was made mostly of foreign conscripts, also known as mercenaries, that fought for them throughout the entire 23-year-old conflict and never grasped what was owed to them during the war. And with Carthage on the verge of bankruptcy, the chance of getting paid was looking like the last sunlight on the sunset horizon. As a result, the mercenaries revolt against Carthage and start what is known as the Mercenary War, which was put down with great difficulty by the infamous Carthaginian general Hamilcar Barca, which enhanced the prestige and power of the Barcid family. The mercenary problem was dealt with, but Carthage, it's still a poor sight to behold with their army and economy shattered. It is clear that they need to recover from the blow suffered from First Punic War. As Carthage still held a few coastal towns in southern Iberia, and being home to many natural resources which were very attractive to any foreign power such as wine, olive oil, fish, stone, and most importantly, Iberia had many silver mines scattered across the land which could sustain a whole army and a long war, and also it had manpower for Carthage. The Iberians were often referred as the best mercenaries in the Mediterranean world, and heavily employed by Carthage. It was also far from the reach of the Roman Republic. It was seen as the best solution to the problem. In 236 BC, Hamilcar Barca would lead an expedition into Iberia, attempting to recover land for the new empire, as compensation for the territorial losses to Rome. In eight years, with the usage brute force and diplomacy, Hamilcar would secure an extensive territory covering almost half of Iberia incorporating many Iberians into his army as a result of the provinces he annexed to the empire. All of this was made not just for the growth of Carthage and restoring their former empire, but also to prepare to another conflict with Rome. Hamilcar does not forget, and he does not forgive Rome. He understands that he needs to hit Rome with another approach. With the income of silver from Iberia mines, and with more manpower due to the incorporation of Iberian natives into the army, he believes Rome can be destroyed. He brought with him his young son Hannibal to watch and learn from his father during the military campaigns in Iberia. He would grow up around Iberian soldiers and marry an Iberian princess, which shows his attachment to this land. Hamilcar would prepare his son for the conflict with Rome, always indoctrinating his son into his hatred for the Republic, even making him swear to the gods that he would not rest until Rome was destroyed. Something he would never see. After a failed siege on Celtiberian city in the frontier, he was retreating back to Cadiz, and the column was ambushed by an Iberian tribe called Oritani in a river crossing. The surprised Punic soldiers attempt to put up a fight stance against the numerical superior tribe. Amilcar would fight hard and bravely, until eventually he was thrown from his horse and drowned in the river Yukar. His premature death was a setback for Carthage expansion into Iberia, something that would not happen again in a large scale as now Hannibal is in charge with a new mission placed in his head by his own late dead father, which was the total destruction of Rome. With Rome also taking an interest in Iberia leading to military conquest in the northeast of Iberia, it became clear to Hannibal it was a matter of time. He must make ready for war. To make matters worse, Rome would instantly provoke Carthage into a war through many factors, and the last straw was when the Republic made an alliance with Saguntum, an Iberian town in the eastern coast of Iberia, on the Carthage's side of the frontier. Rome violated the treaty by expanding their influence into a land not of their own, kick-starting a long 17-year war called the Second Punic War. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below for more content like this. Stay curious, keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next video.